Hello, Brad M. Hand here, 27 here. Trying to review uh, Scooby Doo and the Samurai Sword, which I read with two other Scooby Doo movies and a Chinese Zodiac. Starts out with a guy who yelled at the kid who was cleaning up the uh, floors in the museum, this museum that's about to close because nobody visits museums anymore. They, they have a new exhibit called the Black Samurai. All of a sudden, the Black Samurai armor came alive and flew out. And you see, then you meet Scooby and the gang who came to Japan where Daphne was in a martial arts tournament. Then they uh, was supposed to beat her uh, friend. Uh, was it? My, my, I forget, I forget what name. I forget her name right now. And so they had to go there. Then, um, they met the girl, and it, which they showed uh, a statue of, uh, who was it, uh, dang, I forget his name, too. It's the dog who waited for his master's, his master's turn at a railroad, is it H Hachi? I forget. Uh, he, I don't know, I've seen a movie about it. They did a movie, a live-action movie, but who sit there and wait for his master to come home so they dedicate a statue to his uh, loyalty to his master. So, after that, they they met the other competitors, one was, like, named Mad Dog, there's a Irish-born champion, there's a lady, the name of their host, and then, like, a, one of the guy's servant was a, did, uh, did, like, the uh, reference for the little guy on the I forget, I don't know what his name was, is it, uh, I forget what his name is in Fantasy Island, he always says, Bucks, the plane, the plane, he did that, and then, uh, they, they, she tried to put him on the, try to make him put on, uh, the garb, so, they beat him up, and, uh, this one, you see the, the, who was it, uh, the uh, guy from the museum trying to tell the lady that, uh, like, Black Samurai's lives coming from his map to find the sword, dark sword. So they found it, uh, so they, she, uh, they, they get attacked by ninjas who beat up all the competitors. Then they meet the Black Samurai who stole the map, and he found that the f they took a fake map. Then, who found, the, then they have, then the mystery found the sword, then then they found out it was like the girl lady's uh uh bodyguard or uh what is this whoever and it turned out that she was planning the whole thing to try to get the sword to bring back the black samurai. Scooby Doo and Scooby Doo and Shaggy escape with a sword, being chased by robot ninjas, but the others were captured. Then uh they ran into the a restaurant and had new food. Then the um the owner apparently knew who the green dragon was. It turns out that the the turned out the samurai sword, black samurai got a evil sword, and they they then the this guy who built this other sword. Well, because the samurai wanted a sword, and the the uh, one the great sword sword maker said it's going to take him a year. And his evil apprentice said it was going to take him six months. So, he got the evil sword and he gave the, then when the sword match was finished, he gave it to his friend, the green dragon, who defeated the black samurai. Then, uh, yeah, you see that uh, sh they got the sword back. Then the green, uh, the, the chef took Shaggy on to train him how to be samurais. They took him to meet the green dragon and flew him back. Then the lady brought back the black samurai, who then, she thought she was able to control him, but then the black samurai turned around and told her, no, I'm in control, and you'll rule the world. Then Shaggy, then there's, then the dragon took Shaggy and Scooby to where they were, where Shaq, Scooby destroyed the black samurai sword, freed him from the curse, then you, that was basically the end of the movie. So, um, it was pretty interesting. 
I do have two more Scooby Doo movies, and then I have a few other reviews because I forgot I did some. I watched some Easter during Easter. I watched all for my Easter uh, VHS and D DVD collections and stuff like that. So I'm gonna be doing those too. And I did watch some other stuff too, which I need to do a uh, review too. One's gonna have to wait because it. I got the Godzilla vs. Bionic D DVD. I have not watched the. Uh, I think it was like I forget how long. I think it was like there's like a uh, making of the movie. And it's like I forget how long it is. I think it's like 49 minutes or something, or 29 minutes long or something. So I have to watch that before I can do a, a review of Godzilla vs. Bionic D. So this is it for this review. So. Thank you all for watching. Bye.